cell phone going. Yo, baby girl. This is your queen bee, and it's time to lick that honeypot. Talk to me dirty, Vanilla Thunder. Speakerphone, mama, speakerphone. I just got a hit on the suspect's card buying freaker feet. Where? It's a local spot, Edge of Verge, on Market and Front. Oh, uh, uh, I, I think I figured it out. It's time to deliver the profile. So we've been looking at this case all wrong. It's not that there's two suspects, but that the suspect has two different personalities that coordinate with what socks he's wearing. Did you say with what socks he's wearing? Um, yes, see, with traditional fun socks, although not threatening to the eye, they're sending a vibe of outsourced jobs and environmentally unaware processes through the suspect's body. Your body absorbs everything, whether you know it or not. Especially through the feet. These socks, by nature, are also cluttered in design. Making the suspect's head clutter. Explaining the third crime scene with the scattered legs. When the suspect wears freaker feet, his whole MO changes. His body is absorbing the good. Freaker feet at the very root are designed in Wilmington, North Carolina by a little happy bearded people who are incapable of negative thoughts. Then the socks are knit in Troy, North Carolina and made from contents from other American companies. USA, America? The good gets absorbed through the suspect, giving him a happier, more positive outlook on life. Um, correct. In some cases, people have even reported receiving raises, promotions, improved hair growth, and weight loss, all within the first week of wearing freaker feet. With all that aside, how can we catch the suspect wearing freaker feet? Actually, by my calculations, the suspect should be turning himself in in three, two, 